Where does Nancy work? Nancy works in an office. What does Paul do at the office? Paul answers emails and attends meetings. Where is the meeting today? The meeting is in the conference room. Who will lead the meeting? Nancy will lead the meeting. When does the meeting start? The meeting starts at 10 a.m. Can Paul attend the meeting? Yes, Paul can attend the meeting. Amazing concert experience. Learn English through conversation. Hi, Bianca. Did you go to the concert last night? Hi, Luther. Yes, I did. It was an amazing concert. Did you go too? Yes, I was there. The music was fantastic. Who was your favorite performer? I loved the main act, the star band. They played all my favorite songs. How about you? I enjoyed their performance too, but I also liked the opening band. They had a lot of energy. True, the opening band was great. Did you see the light show? It was incredible. Yes, the light show was spectacular. It added so much to the atmosphere. Where were you sitting? I was in the middle section, so I had a good view of the stage. Where were you? I was near the front. It was so exciting to be close to the performers. That sounds amazing. Did you buy any merchandise? Yes, I got a t-shirt and a poster. I wanted a souvenir to remember the night. Did you get anything? I bought a band t-shirt too. It's a nice way to remember the concert. Absolutely. What was your favorite song of the night? My favorite was Dreams Come True. It's such a beautiful song. What about you? I loved Rock the Night. It's so upbeat and fun. Yes, that was a great one too. I can't believe how many hits they played. They really know how to entertain the crowd. Did you stay until the end? Yes, I stayed for the whole concert. The finale was amazing. Did you? Yes, I stayed too. It was a night to remember. I'm so glad we both got to experience it. Do you know if they are coming back next year? I heard they might. I hope they do. I would love to see them again. Me too. It was a perfect night. We should definitely go together next time. That's a great idea, Bianca. Let's plan on it. Sounds good, Luther. Have a great day. You too, Bianca. Take care. Speak English, now 20 essential sentences for beginners. Anna lives in London. John goes to school every day. Emma has a big garden. Michael plays football on Saturdays. 
Sophia and her family visit New York in the summer. Oliver buys bread from the local market. Isabella watches a movie every weekend. David drinks coffee in the morning. Mia and James read books in the park. William likes to play video games. Emily has two cats and a dog. Henry rides his bicycle to work. Charlotte loves listening to music. Liam helps his dad in the kitchen. Grace goes to the gym three times a week. Jacob takes pictures of beautiful landscapes. Ella works in a small shop in Manchester. Noah visits his grandparents every Sunday. Lily and her brother play chess in the evening. Ben meets his friends at the cafe on Fridays. Discover new hobbies, an English conversation. Hi Jennifer, you seem quite relaxed these days. What's your secret? Hi Thomas. Honestly, I've been spending more time on my hobbies. It really helps to unwind. How about you? What hobbies do you have? I'm into reading and occasionally hiking. But I've been looking for something new. What do you enjoy doing in your free time? Besides reading, I love painting and trying out new recipes. Cooking is quite therapeutic for me. That sounds interesting. I've always wanted to try painting, but I'm not sure I'd be good at it. Oh, it's not about being good or bad, Thomas. It's about expressing yourself and enjoying the process. You should give it a try. Maybe I will. And cooking, huh? What's your favorite dish to prepare? I enjoy making Italian food. There's something about pasta dishes that's just so comforting. What about you? Any favorite dishes you like to make or eat? I'm more of a barbecue guy. Love grilling whenever I get the chance. But Italian does sound tempting. Maybe you can share some recipes? Absolutely, I'd love to. And I'd like to learn more about grilling too. Maybe we could exchange tips? That sounds like a great idea. And speaking of trying new things, have you taken up any new hobbies recently? Yes, actually. I've started gardening. It's quite rewarding to grow your own vegetables and flowers. Gardening, huh? That's one I haven't considered. Sounds like a peaceful activity. It really is. Plus, it gets you outdoors. You should come over sometime, I can show you the basics. I'd like that. Thanks, Jennifer. It's great to learn about different hobbies. Maybe we can start a hobby club. I love that idea, Thomas. Let's do it. It'll be fun to share our hobbies with others and maybe learn a few new ones along the way. Agreed. Thanks for the chat, Jennifer. I'm looking forward to our new adventures. Same here, Thomas. Take care and see you soon. Where is the nearest metro station? Real life English conversation. Excuse me, could you please tell me where the nearest metro station is? Oh, sure. The closest one is about a 10 minute walk from here. 
Are you new to the city? Yes, I just arrived a couple of days ago. I'm still trying to figure out the transportation system. I understand, it can be quite confusing at first. You'll need to head down the street, then take a left at the traffic lights. All right, down this street and then a left at the lights. Got it. Is it a direct line to the city center? Yes, it is. Once you get on the metro, it's only a few stops to the city center. That sounds easy enough. How often do the trains run? During the day, they run every 5 to 10 minutes, so you won't have to wait long. Perfect. And how about tickets? Where can I buy them? There's a ticket machine at the station entrance. It's user-friendly and has instructions in several languages. Great! Do you use the metro often? Almost every day. It's fast and convenient, especially during rush hour. It does seem like a practical option. I might use it as my main mode of transport while I'm here. Definitely a good choice. Oh, and there's a mobile app that shows live updates and station maps. It could be really useful for you. That's very helpful. I'll be sure to download it. Thank you so much for your help, Nancy. You're welcome, Oscar. Enjoy your time in the city and feel free to ask if you need more help. Thanks, I will. Have a great day. You too, take care.